Welcome back to the Express. In today's tutorial, let's explore how to create a login page into Google Sites, or essentially how to password protect a page. While Google Site does not directly offer password protection for any build pages, we'll show you a clip of work out the strict area to specific content. So understanding the limitation. Before we begin, it's important to understand that Google Site doesn't provide native password protection for its pages. Our method involves creating a simple access to control system, which is not foolproof but can be effective for basic privacy needs. Ensure you have a Google site website ready to edit. So once you are in here, let's create a new page for login. Into your Google Sites editor, add a new page what will serve as the getaway to your restricted content. Name it properly. So for example, here, I'm gonna go for plus new page. Let's go for login. And here, uh, we we'll add a contact access for using, let's say for example, uh, Google Forms. So in this page, we'll add contact access. So I'm gonna hit now into done. Now setting up Google Forms for access controls. What you want to do is to open a new tab and go for Google Forms. Once we are in here, I wanted to go directly into go to forms and make sure that I'm using exactly the same account. Now here into Google Forms, I'm gonna go and add a new blank default here and let's say for example that i'm going to name this uh something for access request now add a short text uh, question asking for a predetermined access code for a passcode remember this won't be as secure as a real logging system so passcode to to enter the website for example now here i choose the short answer now, once your form is ready, embimped it into your newly created Google Sites page. I'm gonna go here into embimped, and I copy this embimped. Now, let's handle the content you want to protect. Link in your protection content. Create another page in Google Sites where your restricted content will be lived. This page should not be directly linked from anywhere on your site to keep it unlisted. So back into your login page, for example, let's say access. Include instructions that upon entering the correct code into the form. So include, users will receive a link to the protected content. Managing the access responses. In your Google Form responses, you order to set up email notifications. Whenever someone submits a form, you'll be loaded. So you can then manually send the link to the unlisted content page to those who provided the correct answers code. This method relies on manual verification and is best suited for low traffic site. And this is like a basic way of how you can get started with your access, your total access inside your actual Google Sites. So you just make sure that here into the total access, I wanted to hit into hide from the navigation. Nobody can enter in here unless they do have the accessibility here into the locked in. And there we go. This is a workaround, not a substitute for a secure looking system. But if you find this tutorial helpful, you can give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the Express for more Google Sites tips and tricks. How many questions or other clever workarounds? You can tell them into the comments below. Thank you for watching. Good luck with your Google Site project. Stay tuned for the Express for more helpful guides and text inside. Hopefully, guys, we can all see you next time.